This is the story of what happened when three princes and three princesses came to the UK on a mission. My name is Prince Africa Zulu. I'm Princess Alia Sultana Babi of Palasinor. Prince Remitius Kanakaraja. Princess Mbanunji Shaila Sindrela and Sali. Prince Manvendra Singohil of Rajkitla. Senia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxonia. And I'm a bachelor. And I am single. Although in England at separate times, both sets of royals had the same goal, to find someone to love them for themselves, not their title. I'm here for true love and people that love me for myself. They went undercover, living and working as ordinary citizens. And what is a coast law? Coast law. But spell it for me. No. You're about to follow their quest for true love. Bye, bro. She just stole my heart all the way back to their kingdoms. That is the king of uh, Bavaria. And he married this girl, and she was one member of my family. We are very responsible. No, I, I think the most... <laughs> Hi, guys. Bye-bye. You'll meet some of the people they fell for to find out what they really thought. <laughs> I think he just took very badly the fact that I wasn't bowled over by the fact that he was a prince. Ow! It's so cold. I've had... People ask me to do the yoghurt scene again, which I've obliged. You'll see lots of new footage. You like that, Manny? Oh, yeah. He's got a good bulge here. Yeah. And find out what's happened to the royals themselves. I think I'm looking happy, am I? If you are Africa's not, you will always be a hunter. First to arrive were the princes. Prince Africa Zulu of Onkwani Royal House, South Africa. He needed to find a wife over here to keep his honour back home. For a man as young as 19, you can perceive to be much more mature and much more serious than a man who's dating if you married. During his time in the UK, he would just be known as Africa. I am looking forward to meeting a pure uh, British girl, you know, of British blood. At 43, Prince Remigius of Jaffna in Sri Lanka was running out of time to pass on the royal lineage. I would like to have a family because uh, I need uh, a son who will follow my footsteps. Calling himself Remy, the prince came to the UK. The English women are well disciplined. They know how to behave and the etiquette and manners is there. Prince Manvendra was the first ever Indian prince to come out as gay, which made life hard for him back home. Homosexuality itself is considered as a crime, so you cannot even think of going on a date. In all his years in India, he had never found true love. I want people to love me and not my money. I am Africa. I've just met also Manvendra yeah. uh, just now. Sorry, I didn't get your name. Uh, Remigius. 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 Yeah. 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 Great name indeed. The princes settled into life in shared accommodation. Oh, this is your room, right? Oh, which one is my room then? I was the first person to arrive, so I got the best room. But even then, my bedroom was uh, smaller than the washroom I have in the palace. Normally, uh, back at home, you don't carry your bags. Always your luggage is being taken by someone. And I thought this option is also going to work like that. I forgot about my luggage. I should thank uh, His Royal Highness Prince Africa, kind enough to bring that luggage to my room. It's really heavy. It was, I think, nearly about uh, 80 kg. Let me just speak like, yes, yes, hi, yes, yes, yes. Yes, we got coming to fighting, yes. In my box, I have got the sword. It is a ceremonious short, but still, it's very sharp, very sharp. Is it lovely? With a higher than average number of singletons, the princes had found their ideal city in Brighton. We have to go to Brighton, because if I was in London doing the show, it would have been difficult for me. People would recognize me. I was staying in a, in a, gay, in a gay headquarter. Uh, Brighton, it's wonderful. The beach is amazing. The beach is, is actually made out of stones. And I hear that maybe thousands of people were hired to deliver those stones to the beach because those stones were not there. But it may not be true. 
A year later, the princesses arrived. They went undercover from the get-go, making their own way to their house in Essex. Princess Cassania of Saxony was very excited about her undercover life. Whilst in the UK, she would call herself Gabby. Six minutes for the train to Epping. I think that's the right train. I want to change my shoes. That's this? What? Oh my god. It's important for me to find a man who loves me because I am senior and not for I'm a princess because when I go out, all over the young boys know me from the television and they say, ah, oh, you're Princess Xenia, no, uh-huh. And I say, mm-hmm, but the English boys don't know me. Oh my God, that's it? In India, Princess Alia of Balasinore was still unmarried and without a partner. So now I have to take the tree. <laughs> This is not done. Dating in India is not looked upon very nicely, especially in my kind of families. So while in England, I hope to enjoy myself. Never having had a boyfriend, she came looking for one in England. There's a lot of pressure on me to get married, but my Mr. Wright has not surfaced as yet. Hello. Nice to meet you. Alia. It's a pleasure, Xenia. Princess Shayla from the Buganda Kingdom came to England to find her Prince Charming. I'm drinking my first English tea. My first cup of English tea. If I don't find Mr. Right in Britain, oh, ooh, I feel sorry. <laughs> but given her fussy requirements, it was never going to be easy. I want to meet a gentleman, handsome, attractive, respectful, successful, intelligent, honest, faithful, educated, employed, single, and <laughs> no kids. Hello. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. you. I'm Xenia. Oh, hi, I'm sure. Hello. So this is your room? Yeah, your lovely room. I hope you like it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm not going for shopping. Good night! <laughs> she is nice. She's cool. It was like my sisters from the first moment. It was incredible. It's totally destiny because it's not normal that three girls come in one house and are so yeah. different and live together so good and so quietly and so f with freedom. What? What? For the first time in their lives, the princesses would cook, clean and do everything all by themselves. Alia, what's cotton? It was slightly difficult. I mean, I definitely was missing my maidservants. But uh, I think we were doing it for a short time, so we did it. I don't think I want to do that for life. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I'm used that everything I want is just a call away and it's done. This time, everything had to be done by ourselves, me and the two princesses. Okay, I tried this, I want to make eggs. Take what kind of eggs? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. No, wait, I'll do it, I'll do it for you. Wait. No, I want to try it. I'm supposing there's a file. <laughs> this is this one, this one, this one. No. <sighs> Who knows to cook? The princes, oh, too, would have to make do without all their servants. I can cook something. I can cook food. <laughs> I can okay. cook food, yeah. Mastering the cooker was also a struggle. This is yeah. So you still have to adjust to... Oh, oh be careful. Yeah. <laughs> With gas, I think... Yeah, it is gas. And a shop there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Living on your own, uh, preparing uh, daily meals, everything was uh, difficult. I, because I was not used to it, because you have your servants, they do everything for you. Using a recipe, Africa. No, this is my uh, a new recipe that I'm making for you. you. Should take notes. Prince Africa made his own dish. It became a famous dish. I, I hear it says on the internet uh, that Prince Africa has got his own recipe, Africa Zulu recipe or something. They were saying. The first meal Prince Africa cooked consisted of four sirloin steaks, a sprinkling of hot curry powder, six cloves of garlic a drizzling of olive oil, two onions, several ounces of minced meat, ready-made gravy. Very good, very good. One more thing. And finally, a creamy sauce. The dish was microwaved on high for 10 minutes. OK, this is my meal. Yeah? Yes, it is very ready now. This thing can also be used as soup. This is a bus stop. 
Ah, yeah, bus stop. <laughs> For both sets of royals, initial steps out of the house would prove a challenge, especially getting to know the local area. It's called Chelmsford. 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 Mm. Chelmsford. 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 Is it Chelmsford? Chelmsford. Mm -mm, not Chelms. Chelmsford. Chelmsford. I think Essex is my favourite place because it's such a cool place. Chelmsford! For the princes, the weekly supermarket shop became a day out in itself. In India, I'm always surrounded by staff and my secretary, so I've never done shopping in my life and I didn't know what brands are available and what is the quantity one should get. Peanut butter here. Yeah, yeah. OK, you have all these. Oh, there is peanut butter two items. One is uh, this one. is one peanut or... butter crunchy and one is peanut butter smooth. Which one? Uh... Crunchy would be even more nicer. Okay. okay. Prince Ravichas. She literally became, you know, a shopping mom. There's, oh, not suitable for micro cooking. Okay. Oh, well, oven only. Oven and all, I don't know. One, how to I also don't know how to make one. Oh, these are yeah. beef burgers. Yeah. So I'll take three of them. Yeah. Shall we take some more? Maybe, yeah, you can. But how many are there now? You've completed everything. Why I like burgers is like uh, it's easy and quick. Come, let's go there. Uh, they, they are, they are, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. So they weren't recognised, the royals took on their own English disguises. The princes went to the local shopping centre. I need to dress really, really more British, British. That one. Yes. A little yeah, less pink. That is really pink. That's too pink. That's too pink. Wow, what a gorgeous guy. Gay Prince Manvendra would occasionally get preoccupied. You like that, Manny? Oh, yeah. He's got a good bulge here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The princesses went for a classic makeover. I'm just looking at a picture of Jodie Marsh. Mm. In my home country, our culture, it's an abomination to show your breasts. Oh. Most guys will like you to dress like that. And I'll never find a boyfriend here. <laughs> In public, the royals would claim to be making a documentary about British culture. The Zulu prince was itching to get out and use his unique approach on the British commoners. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wow. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse yes. me. I am a hunter. I believe that I have to hunt for a woman. Excuse me, I'd like to know, I think we're lost. We're looking for... They are hunting in England. It was very uh, exciting, very different. I admire your height, you know. My height? Yes, you got a good red heart. Are those eyes real? They're real. Can I touch your hair? I like, you know, it's nice, it's beautiful. I think the problem with me is this. I would like a variety. I'm not the kind of a person that I'm just going to chase a pack and then just because I've caught it, then I'm going to stop hunting. I like to chase a pack, even if I'm not going to eat it, just for pleasure. <laughs> You're looking very nice. Thanks. Excuse me? She says stop looking at her boobs. I'm not looking at her No, no, I'm not. <laughs> More often than not, his tactics didn't quite work. Excuse me, would you have me? Would you just tell my aunt from home that I am dead? Single man, why would I be interested in a woman? Gay male couple. Gay... Not used to venturing out of his palace, Prince Manvendra preferred the internet dating Single scene. Man. Body type, slim, average. To them, looking for boyfriend. Internet dating was not successful because you don't know the other person unless you see him, whether he's uh, faking or he's uh, telling the truth about his age and his preferences and all. 49, too old. 20 years, too young. 99, my God. 99-year-old <gasps> guy. Amazing. We'll see. 
favourite. Prince from Aegis made the most of his job as a waiter to meet potential partners. Hey, sorry. I'm Remy Gears. Hi, I'm Remy Gears. Sorry, I'm Remy Gears. Hi, Remy. So you like to dance? I'm a dancer. Okay. Even though he seized every opportunity, <laughs> it rarely paid off. So what do you do when you're free? Do you go out anywhere? Have you got a boyfriend? Or... I haven't got a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend? No, I don't want a boyfriend. So if you don't mind, can I date you? Please. Openly, I ask. It's not really my type, to be honest, though. On the streets, the same technique was no more successful. Hi, excuse me. Yeah? I want to say to you, you're Bella Bella Italia. Yeah. You understand what I mean, eh? You're yeah. the most beautiful. Oh, OK. <laughs> Pretty I've seen it. Speaking to the people on the street and trying to date or something, it uh, was not easy, it was uncomfortable. But uh, if you have to find your bride, then you have to get used to it. You have, have some difficulties. Hi, how are you all? You all look beautiful, gorgeous. Prince Africa turned to the Lonely Hearts pages, giving a glimpse into his views on dating. I'm looking for age between 23 and at least 29, because women, women are not like wine, you know, it's not like the more they age, they get better, you know, they age quickly, you know, so they're like milk. <laughs> they have like a stick for hidden, a cell pie, you have to get them before. I like them, you know, fresh and young. As a Christian, Prince Africa was taken aback by some of the liberal girls of Brighton. How do you make your money? I'm a lap dancer. You dance like in a lap? Well, I don't touch customers, like it says no contact club. Oh, OK, yeah, we work like, as a, like a stripper. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I almost jumped the boat. I was like, sure, oh, you're a stripper. You are a lap dancer, I remember. But from his nights out, Prince Africa had some phone numbers, so he got dialing. Oh, it, it rings. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> hello? Hello, 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 how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Great, great. Um, sorry, but the, the line, I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I'm... Oh, the line is bad because I'm in the wind. I'm, okay. I'm... Please bear with me. So... <laughs> I think either she dropped the phone or she... <laughs> she wished me good luck. <laughs> 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 Out in local Essex, some of the princesses found the scene very hard to settle into. Princess Shayla from the Buganda Kingdom, pretending to be average girl Cinderella, got other people to set her up on dates. I think the worst moment was a blind date. That's yours. That's for you. Just to walk in, with, with your own picture and to reach there and actually your picture is wrong. So you're the one I'm supposed to meet? Oh, yes. All right. It's actually the opposite of my picture that I had. This is a very, very wrong pic. And I told the person who sent me this guy, look, if I get to your neck, you'll lose it because I'm coming for your neck. You wasted my time. For someone so choosy, it looked unlikely that the princess would find love this way. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm Sam. OK, I'm Cinderella. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, you look really, really good. Thanks. You look really, <laughs> really gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. You look really, really good. Very nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> You look really lovely this evening. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. It was nice knowing you too. Simon? Hi. Yeah. Hi, Alia. Hi. How are you? 
Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine. Princess Alia wasn't to find her soulmate on a blind date either. How have you been? Good. Come from far? I come from Hindustan. Oh, right. But originally I'm from India. Oh, right. <laughs> I think he was very nervous himself and there was no conversation flowing between the two of us. And I think all we were doing was just playing with a fork and the knife. <laughs> Weather hasn't been up to much. The weather's quite good, in fact. It's really, very really nice. Mm. Would you like to drink some? Yeah. yeah. I'll just have a Coke, please. Small one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a small one. He asked me, let's order dinner, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm, I have a bad stomach. I was out at the restaurant in 10 minutes. I think it was the worst, worst episode of its kind. Even with Princess Cassania's help, Princess Alia's quest for true love was a struggle. Hey, guys. Hi. Hiya. Good. The most difficult part which um, I found while being in England was definitely going to bars and pubs and finding dates or rather approaching men. Do you look really attractive when you cross your eyes like that? No, I have not. Oh, you have no hair. Alright, I'm trying to pull. You have no hair. The Indian princess was to find it all too much. It's not in my nature to approach guys. I can't do it. That's the worst part. <laughs> I've never done it before. I've come from a very protected family. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be so difficult. <laughs> Sorry for spoiling your evening. <sighs> yeah, really. Ouch. Whilst the mission to find love may have been frustrating, being undercover meant the royals could let their hair down. Do traditional dance for me, Patrick. <laughs> For some royals, dancing in public is frowned upon back in the kingdom. In your life, you don't get much opportunities as a prince. As undercover prince, uh, we got a lot of opportunities, so we did that. It's finished. You see that plastic ball? Yeah. We're going to get in that and they're going to roll us down the hill. <laughs> Sound like fun? <laughs> Prince Ramegis learned to throw caution to the wind whilst in Brighton. Take this, this is a. Uh, for me, take this boat, please. <laughs> wait, 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 where is this? Uh... Yeah. Remy. So what is this? You're petrified. Don't push too fast. Mm -hmm. I am Remy, you are! <laughs> I am Remy, you are! <laughs> it wasn't just the Prince of Jaffna who enjoyed the freedom. Both princes and princesses enjoyed the fun activities England had on offer. In Germany, I would never do something like this. And here, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm the same like everybody. Yeah! <laughs> no! I don't find it sexy. Hey! What is this? What I, is this what? This they're attire. My they're my Not bells. Tired, they're the bells. <laughs> Six dogs oh. in a race, yeah? Prince Africa would sometimes confuse the people he met. What about the dog? What about the dog? How much does the dog get? The dog doesn't get any money. It's the owner. Yeah? The dog does. Yeah, but they don't. Yeah. Four and five, I need you. Four and five. Four and five. Number four. Four and five. Four and five. 
What happened to fourth? Don't you think these dogs are paid not to run fast sometimes? They are paid to slow down. You can't buy a dog. They are bribed. I think they've been bribed. <laughs> I think, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to bang you really hard, really. Please, just be careful that I don't hurt you, really. Because psychologically, when you are too close, it's can... Just be careful, boss. I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious. One mistake, the camera is out there. Tell me any possibilities of uh, meeting nice ladies around that you know, maybe around the club, seeing ladies. The princesses embraced nights out like karaoke. But not every British pastime was considered exciting for the royals. With the newfound freedom, Prince Manvendra took the opportunity to find out if women were also his thing. Yes, I went. I got some uh, pornographic stuff, some magazines, some adult films with girls to find out whether I was confirmed gay or I, I could be bisexual. You seem to be having difficulty making up your mind. Mm, yeah, because I'm wondering which would be a better option for me. They're all they're kind of different kinds. I can't decide. There's some with some Asians as well, so maybe I should go in for this one. Two free DVDs. Hmm? I think I'll go in for this one. Okay. Oh, no, I know I was to give you. Uh, uh, yeah. The Asian, yeah. Okay. $4.99. I tried it out, but I thought I was more comfortable being gay than being bisexual. I have no sexual attraction towards women. The princesses got back into the driving seat on their mission to find true love. Picky Princess Shayla was determined to find a man. What to do? I have to find Mr. Prince Charming. And found one in the most unlikely of places. person I introduced myself to so far. Really? I'm lucky. <laughs> Maybe I could give you a call job. I could call you. Yeah. OK. I've never imagined I'd find the man I love in a supermarket. How? Cinderella. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks. It's unbelievable. That's why I say me meeting poor my love was fate. <laughs> Going by the name of Manny, Prince Manvendra finally ventured out to get a taste of Brighton nightlife. Manny from India. I'm yes. sugar. I was quite happy with the Brighton atmosphere because I found it very friendly and especially very gay friendly. <laughs> Being undercover was something uh, I could never do in India. There were certain bars which were exclusively for gay men to come. So it was a little easier for me because uh, I assumed that all the men there were gay. On a trip to his local pub, the prince was to meet his partner in England, Michael Lowe. I'm Mani from India. I'm uh, Michael. 
he was sitting there all alone and I just picked up a conversation with him and he seemed to be very friendly. Do you have a partner? No, I don't have a partner. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I've come to uh, England. I realized that uh, he is uh, my soulmate in the, in the show. If I go on a Monday night to a gay bar called the R Bar, you're more than welcome to join me if you'd like. What, what name I've, did you tell me? Uh, it's the R Bar. Oh, H O U R R. R, as in R. Oh, 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 okay. O, o U R R. No, it's no. R, the letter R and then R. bar. Oh, R bar. <laughs> My name's Mike. My full name is Michael. And um, I met an Indian guy called Prince Man Windra. It's Prince Man Windra. Sing, sing her. Prince Man Windra. Oh, I can't say it. <laughs> Like, uh, he came across as quite interesting and intriguing. He hadn't really got a clue how people portray themselves outside of India, you know. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Give me a bad name. Yeah. Prince Africa too had his first successful date in the shape of Donna Edmonds. Hi. <laughs> Donna, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. I know that you could some nice lessons for me. So you've got the, the big... OK, OK. I like your boots. Oh, your... Thank you. What have you got tied to them? <laughs> no, no, it's one of our uh, African attire. It made actually from the tail of a cow. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. My name's Donna, and I met Prince Africa Zulu on the show, who I knew just as Africa. I thought she was very lovely and very charming. I mean, beautiful in terms of, you know, such a, a beautiful, humble woman that she will work in a stable Donna liked the Zulu prince, and fortunately, the feeling was mutual. Yeah, he's actually really easy to get on with, so it's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. I want to get to know him more. Yeah, yeah, this is my chance. But it's been amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they were to spend some quality time with each other. I have never said like this with my own older brother. Really? In my life, talk like this, yeah, never. Maybe you never. should um, give it a go and see what happens. It was good, actually. We got on really well. We sort of opened up a bit. Told me he worked in a bar, which clearly is not true. Jeremy, hi, Paul. So many kisses. Charlie. For Princess Ksenia, finding potential suitors was never a problem. Hi. Woo! <laughs> go on, get There was Fireman James. I'm great. <laughs> He's a very nice guy, and we have a lot of fun, and it's very cool. Reese, who taught her to play tennis. Eyes on the ball. He's very sweet. He's a good trainer. What do you like in men? And hairdresser Elliot, who she met at work. I don't know. I not meet so much men in my life, so I don't know. Would you ever date a woman? No. No. Wow. And it was Elliot who would win the princess's heart. Cheers. Cheers. From the first day at the hairdresser saloon till the first date with Elliot at the camping trip was all the time like, I like to talk with him, I like to know something about him, and it's perfect. Sri Lankan Prince Ramejus headed out on several dates in his search for the mother of his royal children. From the beginning, I have been saying that I have to find a royal bride. And I thought I would be able to do it in, in England but it was a little bit difficult. I'm qualified as a holistic therapist. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. So what do you do when you have, really? Um, I've, got, um, I've got a little boy, so I spend an awful lot of time with him. Young mum. <laughs> yeah, we're a young mum, yeah. Well. When all hope was lost, he had a chance encounter with local girl, Melissa. If you would have met a, oh, a poor person, so if I met a poor person, would you like? Of course. She's really an honest, nice person because she liked me as a person, not as a prince. If you would have met a very rich person, a multimillionaire. <laughs> I should be so lucky. <laughs> it doesn't, but I don't think material things can't make you happy. That's right. You're I right. I, I like it. He's really easy company. He's got a, a really quite a quirky sense of humor. Um, and he, he's, he's just a gentleman, he's, he's just lovely. I like the feeling of touch. Mike was giving Prince Manvendra the time of his life without having a clue that he was dating a royal. So what about kissing? Oh, that's greater. 
So if I was to kiss you like this, you'd like that. Yeah, definitely. But if I was to kiss you in a different way, yeah. how would you, would you react to that? Well, uh, if I was to kiss you, for instance, like this, mm -hmm. The Prince was the first royal to have a gay snog on British TV. Now, how did you find that kiss? <laughs> that, was, that was marvellous. We did indulge in a lot of uh, kissing and uh, hugging each other, holding hands, and uh, we both felt very comfortable doing it because uh, for me, uh, it was the first time that I could do this in the public. Ow! It's so cold. With the help of some yoghurt, they took the relationship to the next level. <laughs> The affair met the disapproval of the prince's royal housemates. He's doing it public, gay life on camera. Private life should be private life. It should be discreet. You want to know about Prince Marwendra's behaviour? I think it is a, a private issue and I don't want to give much comments on that. Which you have done that day in your room. If my son had not done, I would have executed him. If a man also lie mm. with mankind, Prince Africa's advice was just as unforgiving. They shall surely be put to death. Mm. Their blood shall be upon them. What did you think of Prince Africa? I, f I basically, at first, thought he was an, an, he was an utter um, sort of... Well, I, at first, I didn't really like him much. They shall surely be put to death. Surely be put to death. A new beginning. <laughs> Princess Shayla was to get to know Paul from the supermarket and miraculously he would tick all her boxes. Don't smoke. Drink occasionally. No girlfriend? No. You're not married? No. <laughs> you cannot kid? Nope. But I like to. I love children. <laughs> Do you believe in God? Yeah. I think without him, we don't have faith. God, it's amazing to hear. <laughs> A wonderful, beautiful girl. The day of the dinner, I would not say that I fell in love with Paul, but I realised he, he was more of a person that I always wanted, according to what he was telling me. Yeah. Wow. On a trip to South End, the princess sang to Paul for his birthday. It's a lovely night for lovers. Can we always be this way? Happy birthday! <laughs> Their time in South End would change the princess's <laughs> life forever. Wow. You are in love with me, and I have nothing to offer. All I can give you is, is true love. That's all I need. If you offer me true love, respect, it's more than a, a guy could ever ask for. So are you in love with me? Hmm? I'm falling in love with you. OK. I told poor that I really loved him. The very best moment I had in, during my stay in Essex. Now. <laughs> when their time in the UK was coming to an end, the royals would reveal their true identity to their loved ones. I have got my Official visiting card, which I'll be also giving to her. Oh, oh my! I'm doing everything wrong. Do you know to whom are you talking to? I am Prince Manendra Singh Kohil of Rajpipla. Their partners would be invited back to the kingdom for the final part of the adventure. After several rehearsals, Prince Manendra revealed his true identity to Mike. I think uh, revealing myself to Michael was a bit difficult because uh, when I told him, uh, it was very shocking for him. 
Well, there I am. When he walked into the room, the first thing that went through my, my mind, it was... Oh, that's nice. And that's the first thing that came into my head. My full name is His Highness Prince Manvendra Singh Gohil of Rajpipla. Uh, so you're a prince? I am the crown prince and uh, the only legal heir to the throne of Rajpipla. Princess Alia failed to find her Prince Charming. We were here to find true love, but uh, I, I always believe in destiny. If it has to happen, it will happen. So I, I didn't find my Mr. Right here in England, so I think, um, uh, I, but I made some wonderful friends here. Hi. She opted to come clean to the Essex friends she'd met. I'm good. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I think I was a bit scared or rather a bit worried that people would react in a different manner. OK, now, guys, before we go any further, I need to tell you a bit of truth. Maybe they would feel a bit hurt that we've been um, hiding something from them. My name is Alia. My title is Princess Alia. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia. Oh! oh I am Princess Alia Susanna Babi of Balasinor from oh, India. Yeah. Wow, we were saying that's pretty close. It's pretty good. There you go. You to wear a crown. <laughs> Princess Ksenia was very nervous when it came to revealing her identity to Elliot. I have butterflies in my belly. I hope he likes Ksenia like Gabby before. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Sit down. There's Hello. something I want to tell you. OK. My first name is not Gabby. No? <laughs> my name is Princess Ksenia Gabriella Florence Sophie Iris. Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. What? I'm a princess. What do you think? You're still Gabby. Yeah, for you. Just for me. Just for you. She invited her loved one back to her kingdom to see if their relationship could last. Will you come to, with me to Germany and see my world? Yeah. Yeah? That's, yeah. <laughs> my <goodness. laughs> The That's coolest amazing. guy was Elliot, and that was the reason why I take him home because he's he saw the real Gabby all the time. I love you. Whoa! Oh. Amazing. <laughs> Hi, how are you? We are very well, thank you. How prince you? Ramegis was very excited to let Melissa know he was a prince. I give you oh. my real name. His Royal Highness Prince Ramegis Kalangaraja <laughs> of Jaffna. <laughs> OK. <laughs> and also, I would like to give you my visiting card and... <laughs> OK. <laughs> it was a shock for her. She started to really smile. But she couldn't stop. She was excited. It was very interesting. Yeah, she, she never expected. She never expected. Princess Shayla was petrified before her meeting with Paul. She had no idea how he'd react when told she'd been lying about her identity. <laughs> that evening, I really revealed to Paul I was a princess. I thought if I revealed myself, maybe he could pull out. My name's Princess Shayla Cinderella Mvanunje, a princess from the Buganda Kingdom. What do you think? It means nothing to me. <laughs> You'd always be my Cinderella. <sighs> he just told me, I still love you the way I loved you before. Love is not about vanity and these things. Love is about caring. That's love. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Ahead of the partner's visit to the kingdom, the royals said goodbye to their time in England and to their free, undercover lives. I was the first girl to go out of the house. I say, we come as just princesses and we go as friends. And Shala said, no, we go as sisters. Ladies, I love you. I will never forget this time with you. And that was, wow. I love you! We love you! <laughs> oh, we're going to miss her. Take care.
Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. When we left Brighton, it was a very, very emotional day for me at least because being undercover was uh, something uh, I could never do in India. And uh, I was just realizing, oh, now this is the end to my freedom. I would no, not be undercover anymore. Princess Shayla worried whether her family would accept her falling in love with a commoner. I was worried about home. I don't know what they will say about him. I'm just worried in what if they don't accept him. I don't want to lose him and I don't want to lose my family as well. A couple of weeks later, the loved ones visited the kingdoms to see what life as a royal could be like. Mike had had a very long journey getting to the Raj Pipla Palace to meet Prince Manvendra. When I eventually get driven by my driver to the palace that happened to be painted pink, my first impressions were... Could do with another coat of paint now. <laughs> I thought it was basically very run down and it didn't reflect the palaces that we have here in the UK. Uh, yeah. Unable to spend some quality time with his then boyfriend, Mike found it all too difficult. What would happen if we were to walk down the road holding hands? I don't think I should be doing that because I have to maintain certain amount of uh, dignity in public at least. When we were in the UK, we got on really well. It wasn't until we got back to India that things were slightly more difficult. The prince would not give up his title for newsagent Mike. You've been really nice and kind and all that, but on a, the relationship side, you've been very cold and, and, and very one-sided. I mean, I'm yet open for a relationship, but uh, that would be to sacrifice my, my kingship. Elliot met Princess Ksenia in her homeland. Although they got on... <laughs> I do feel that we've picked up from where we left off sort of thing. I'm very attracted towards her. What seemed like love had turned into friendship, despite Elliot's wishes. You know what's the coolest thing? It feels like we're friends years. Not feels like we're friends but since... I find you very attractive. Man, I find you also very attractive, but we're not like, oh, come on, let's go to bed. No, 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 we're that's wrong. more interested in the inside. I'd rather be your friend than your lover. What? OK, I'd rather be both, but I'd still... <laughs> <laughs> You're everything, you know that? I am everything. You're my monkey friend, my best friend, my family member. Yeah. Also, my shopping assistant and hairdresser. I know. That's so cool. I'm, like, the best oh, boyfriend. Okay, oh, OK, darling. <laughs> Out in South Africa, Donna's romantic visit turned into one long argument over British and Zulu history. To the kingdom of Kwazulu. I took Donna with and we, we, I invited her to come here, yes. Do you know how many Zulus died here? Millions of Zulus died here. Mm. One of the reasons we didn't get on very well is because he spent the entire week bashing Britain, which isn't really the best way to go with a British person. This thing, we are coming here to see all these British graves. You know, why, why in Zuland am I going to come here and see the British grave for what? Goodness sake. I think to, to ask a British person to come and meet you and then to spend the week sort of having a go at their country was not really the best way to play it if you want to have a relationship with them. You are very responsible. No, to, I, I to, think the most... To talk like that, so brave, and acknowledge that the British were wrong. The African prince didn't turn up to say goodbye to Donna before her flight home. The way he reacted was almost, well, I'm a prince, you know, I'm a good catch, what are you, you know, ridiculous woman, what are you doing, sort of thing. He was quite childish to therefore sort of go, well, if you're not going to recognise my presence, uh, I'm going to ignore you completely and not turn up on the last date. I've not spoken to Africa since, actually, no. Donna was a little bit of a complication until I got here. Then I realised that she was also another complicated briefcase to open. I've got, I forgot my, my code in England, so I have to ship her back to England. 
<laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm very nice well. to see you. Prince from Aegis met Melissa in Holland, where he lives in exile. Hi, guys. Bye bye. You have to go straight, go straight, because two people cannot cycle here. Because there's a uh, train path and everything is danger. Although they got on well, the prince had some bad news to break. First, I thought um, maybe I can uh, marry here, but when I came back home, uh, I had a lot of pressure from the family and from the relatives because you are the head of the royal house. You have to find the, the right bride. And I think that was the right decision because it will be easy to marry someone within the royal family. Uh, if I'm settled getting down in my life, I mean, honestly, to say I have to settle down someone within the rules and with the, within the family backgrounds and things. I hope you understand that. Yes, and I would like to uh, continue as a, a good friend. Okay. Is that okay? That's absolutely fine. Initially, I was a little confused as to why he dated people like me, really ordinary people. I've come to realize that it was probably a lot to do with wanting to experience life. As, as an ordinary person without the, the protocol. In Uganda, Princess Shayla was desperate for Paul to meet her family's approval, so she made him pretend to be a royal, Prince Paul David of Tobago. Thank you. No, 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 no. Please. Paul, posing as a prince, was ready to meet the family. Am I looking good? This is Prince Malcolm. He's my elder brother. This is Prince Paul David. Nice to meet you. This is Princess Sandra. She's my sister. <laughs> She's my mom. Hi, mom. Nice to meet you. Hi. And he's the leader of the royal lineage. Yeah, very glad to see you, sir. Same here, sir. The grand father. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and what did mom think? As a prince, Paul was introduced to Mr. John Baptist Walasimbi, the Buganda Prime Minister. I'm a bit nervous because it's not good to keep a Prime Minister waiting. <laughs> The press were present to record this historic moment. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. Prince David. Yeah, from Tobago, Trinidad. Ah, Tobago. Yes. You got a prince? <laughs> <laughs> a prince came to visit you. You're most welcome. The nervous princess asked the prime minister something that was on her mind. He was asking me a question sometime back in the UK. Yeah. Can he marry in Uganda? For sure you can. There's no problem at all, provided you don't marry a, a princess. <laughs> because as far as we are concerned, a princess is your sister. And but we he never, said... We never marry in a... The press put Paul on the spot. Um, I was asking the prince from Tobago that uh, how is the setup of the kingdom? It's different. Different in a sense like okay. we have a prime minister, a president, Assistant pr pr Prime Minister, right? We don't have like kings and, 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 and these things. We have like Prime Minister and these things. It was an ambush, a real, real big ambush. <sighs> but I think, I think we pull it through. When Paul was due to go home, Princess Shayla asked him an important question. Can you stay one more week with me? 
not have asked me anything better. I'll be proud to stay another day. Well, I don't know what I can say about Paul, but he's the true perfect man. There is nothing that I don't want about him. I just love Paul. I'll walk away. Fine. That's it. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a spider. <laughs> Big spider. I think that the time in England and Essex and with the girls in this house was definitely one of the best times in my life. I will miss the time and I will miss the people and so that's a, a sign for me that it was a really, really, really good time. Good citizen, how are you? Great. Wow, this is nice wood. Strong wood. What I learned about myself is the fact that I have a special taste of women. 99% of the women I approached were all blonde. This time of year, I never Realize I like blonde, you know, caved women. This is too short, I think, no? But is it okay? My experiences in Brighton while doing the show helped me quite a lot. How to date, how to uh, find a true lover, and uh, some of those uh, interesting experiences uh, helped me to find a suitable guy in my life. And uh, I have found uh, the Mr. Right, you can say. This is my boyfriend, Prajwal. He seems to be a pers genuine person who is not interested in my fortunes or my status, but he is uh, interested in me as an individual. I think I'm looking happy, am I? Yeah, lunch is, yeah, it's, it's time for lunch.